blind spots. Let's talk about blind spots. Uh, what are blind spots? These are areas around the tractor or trailer where collisions are more likely to occur. These blind spots are locations where your vehicle may disappear from the driver's eyeball. Uh, yeah, and he's not going to see you inside of the tractor, so you're going to get in some trouble. That's how I got in trouble, because this lady was in my blind spot for far too long. Um, yeah, watch for blind spots. Where are blind spots around trucks? Let's let's go over it. You have your side blind spots. So your side to the left or to the right. You should be looking for the driver's face in the side view mirror of the tractor. If you can't see the driver, they cannot, will not see you. I'm literally kind of like just reading this, <laughs> but I'm not verbatim. I'm trying to switch a word or two, but um, yeah. Uh, they can't see you. If that driver were to make a lane change, a collision not only could occur, but will most likely occur. Um, and depending on that driver, I know in Los Angeles some drivers switch lanes so quick, they they probably look like just two times a bare minimum, or not even, like maybe just once. Maybe they check their mirror once, and then they switch. Like, I don't know, they like they jerk their steering wheel, so... You never should be hanging out there. Um, and that's 53 foot. You can't, shouldn't be on the side of a truck. Um, so the rear blind spots. Don't tailgate. Driving too closely to the rear of a truck limits your visibility of the road ahead. That's very true. Also, if the truck has to brake suddenly, you may not have enough time to react to avoid a rear end collision. So that's what you're doing. Uh, rear blinds uh, don't tailgate because you, you limit yourself you of what your options can, can be to avoid an accident. You're tailgating and then you, you eliminate your options to do something to move to the left or the right or to avoid an accident. So uh, you have to uh, think about that. Um, and see as far as you can rear blind spots uh, yeah rear don't tailgate and over speeding that's what I wanted to speak talk about too speeding down the highway um, like you're limiting your your chances you're giving yourself less chances to do something about a situation so you can avoid a possible collision or incident you know so don't speed I mean just it's it's, first of all, you can't go more than 55, which is silly in California, but um, it is what it is. Uh, uh, your front blind spot. Uh, when passing a truck before changing lane, be cha before changing back into the lane, uh, that you just pass the truck in. Look in your rear view mirror. If you can see the front of the truck in your rear view mirror, it should be safe to move over. Uh, that's very true. It depends. You have to be thinking about, I don't know, five, three, four, I think 500 feet is is the limit where it's like okay to move back over. If, you're move, if you see them in the rear view mirror and you're looking 500 feet in front of you, which is hard to tell because you can't really know, but I've been learning because this new truck that I'm driving like marks a car that's in front of me. So... I mean, if you count the seconds from when they pass that one, like, barrier thing, or the little center stripe, count that, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, I think that's like four, four, four thousands, that, that should be like 400 feet, I think, but I'm not sure, because your speed, if you're going super fast, that's way less. So, always take down to the consideration when you're moving back into in front of the truck, uh, you, you really don't want to be in front of a truck. Um... If they, because, I mean, m most new trucks, like the one I'm in, it's a 2020, and that thing has a 
a detection mitigation avoidance thingy ma bob or ma jigger so that it's crazy it's only set off like on me once or twice but and it wasn't when i was on the highway i was pulling up to a gate in garden grove a little bit too fast and then it was i think was it raining i think they're both at the time that it was raining but i pulled up a little bit too quick in front of the to the gate and then the brakes self-applied so i mean i'm not falling back on that i'd never want to fall back on that never like ever 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 i never want to fall back on a, on a system that can potentially save my save my rear end but uh, it's there which is which is pretty cool in the new trucks all the older trucks nope you have issues um what's next uh backing blind spots be on the lookout for a truck backing up it's hard to see the rear of a tractor trailer with the two side mirrors use extreme caution around trucks when they are trying to back up So let me repeat that. It's kind of loud. I'm in a, I'm inside a, a warehouse distribution center. So backing blind spots. Be on the lookout for trucks backing up. It's hard to see the rear of a tractor trailer with the two side mirrors. Use extreme caution around trucks when they are trying to back up. Now, um, what's the last one? Wide right turns. Watch for turn signals on the truck. Sometimes the driver may be sw may swing a trailer to the left before making a right turn. Don't pull up beside the trailer. It may swing back and hit your vehicle. This is for the people in a rush. And people that haven't been driving a long time, um, some trailers do not have that sticker. Some trailers uh, do. Some trailers have caution, big yellow sticker. I say m makes wide turns. Vehicle makes wide turns, or something similar. And then has a little picture of a truck, and then a little car getting into that little space because they're in a rush. Or, yeah, they're in a rush, or they don't understand that they shouldn't be there. That's a, that's a major one that's happened to me countless times. Um, and I'm not sure how many times they explain to people in DMV that they shouldn't do that. Huh. You know, I wonder if there's ways to eliminate blind spots even further. They're kind of, you know what, they pro there probably can be, but the system, I mean, 2020, this truck, and 2021 truck year, model years, those trucks are smarter than, than me. Those trucks are so intelligent. The computing, it's like, like a giant computer rolling down the highway. These things are crazy smart. Um, but, I mean, you know what they don't, where they, they could upgrade with the newer ones, is put like a little... A dashboard cam, or not a dashboard cam, a dashboard symbol of the truck and trailer, and then like upgrade the software on that, and then have a little orange light on if there's like a if there's a vehicle there. There has to be something. I think a Bendix system already has that. Like if there's a there's a a car in the in on your passenger side. I think I've already seen them. They're on some of our trucks uh, or some of the company trucks. They have a little Bendix system that shows, probably beeps at you. There's a car there if you want to turn right or you're getting, I don't know, f within five feet of it, without a, well, probably within a foot um, of another vehicle. But yeah, uh, but future, future things are going to start coming up in newer technologies, but that would be a, a neat one. To have a little sensor like cars do on their mirrors on these um, trucks, even the old ones. How do you upgrade that system? Upgrade the old computer to 
be aware of you would need sensors install a sensor system on the on the truck on the four corners um, but I don't know that's something I'm, a, I'm not too smart to do but um, yeah thanks for listening and uh, keep on trucking <laughs>